Wherever I go, pay. Oh! Whoa, 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 whoa. I goes... did not expect that at all. Whoa. Other way around. To be fair, in my head, Rafael is going Welcome to, to Mobile Legends. Game to take it all the way. Again, I wouldn't have it any other way, man. The last time that we had a best of seven in the lower bracket final was never. It's now. Yeah. So we need seven games, and that's what we want. Now, Demon Kite on the jungle Xborg. Yeah, I don't know. I'm not. I'm not sure how I feel about it. We already got a preview of this even back before, and so you need a lot to happen here. Now, one of the great interactions between that though is if they can actually get UA to get a really good frigid glacier freeze down. Then the, obviously it helps even with the last insanity, and then you have a lot of utility and mobility because you have the Matilda again in the hands of Renegade. Yeah, but the thing is again, Falcon Zeki Brand taking a page out of Aurora's book. Oguin, who would have thought, would go for the Rafaela paired up again with Kyle DZ's Alpha. So even if there's a lot of slows coming in from Aurora or Catch, okay. Now they're gonna force out a few flicker. Okay. Runner J as aggressive as he can be oh. will take one and bring down few. Now the counter attack onto you with Pride of Eyes is there. But still they're able to take him down. A one for one trade. Good little trades happening here, but you know the fact that it was UA that goes down. It's gonna have a little bit of a delay building up there, but expected from Renegade. Oh, another! Guiding wind, and just uh, look at that. Just not afraid to burst down Marco. Uh oh, okay, he's not there in time. I was just gonna say, expected from Renegade earlier on, and then he does that as well. So this is, this is Rora making a statement, man. They want to be able to get that early game lead. They want to be able to establish themselves in the early game. So for Falcons AP, Bren, they're seeing, they're seeing the tone that's being played here. And they'll be the ones to adjust the turtle, though, for the taking. Okay, Kyle TC going to pop the Faraga armor of Demon Kite as he works on the turtle. AOG coming in from Flap. Oh. He wants to work on the kill onto a Demon Kite, but a save coming in from Renegade is there. So it looks like it's going to be an uncontested take for Falcons AP, Bren, but now the attack is on. Frederick Glacier connecting onto two as they try and work on Edward with the Primal Wrath. He's going to flicker out into safety. That was a great call from UA. They got the call. They know that Edward was there, and if it wasn't for the Frigid Glacier, you know, he wouldn't have been able to go and get that distance. He even had to burn the flicker, but Rora keeps themselves together. FCAP gets the objective. They're going to build into this. And you're seeing it, right? Some of the struggle here with the Export Jungle showing some of the weak points, at least in the beginning of this game. But again, adjustments are to be made, and so far, Kyle Peasy. Feeling tanky enough on this alpha, paired up with the fact that you have Ogwen healing them up. They might break out a fight. Okay, ultimate's being casted by the two roamers as Kyle TZ works on the back line onto you, and there's no passive again. AOG coming in from Flap TZ, but the first man down is Ogwen. Frigid Glacier will connect onto two. A counter attack coming in from Aurora. They might be able to burst down Kyle, but on the other hand, uh -oh. Super Marco's gonna bring down Doming here as they try and work on Phil, but Phil remains alive and be able to take down Renege. Phew's still alive? Again, Phew! I was expecting him to go down too, but man, talk about a rotation from Edward to show up for that. Able to cap out the kill on Kyle TZ. Oh! Spear. Not gonna land. You know, I don't even think you take that if it did. Not really worth it right now, but good responses from both teams. Falcons AP Brand will keep things together. First item still looking to get locked in and fall into place here on both ends. But this is what we expect for game six. A lot of this back and forth. And yeah, that's the apparent thing too. You know, both these teams have good capabilities of extending those fights, healing through them. It's just at the same time, you want to be able to go ahead and have that advantage when it comes to those setups, those counter setups, if you will. And UA so, so far with the Frigid Glacier, you know, a lot of times he's been on point with it. But if he has to deal with getting out angled by FCAP, for example, especially around these turtles, might struggle a bit. Red J again going forward. Okay. There's Avon Force from uh, Super Marco is there as well. As Demon Kite nice. will get the turtle. Frigid Glacier collecting onto a lot of people. Here comes the last insanity coming in from Demon Kite. Plus they blow Jay. They're gonna bring down Kyle and Flap TZ. Renege picks up a kill and Demon Kite gets the turtle. You see what I mean? They're throwing their bodies forward, especially Edward. Frigid Glacier goes down and that allows the fire and ice combination between the Aurora and the Exborg. The last insanity, enough to pop out enough damage and just cook 
the members of FCAP. So that's always what Falcons AP Brand is gonna have to worry about, you know, playing against it. And sometimes if they jump forward again, run and Jay. Oh, redirecting that circling eagle onto Flap TZ to try and zone him out. Here comes the flamethrowers coming in from Demon Kite. And so far looking good for Aurora. Their aggression, although sometimes it looks like it's overextensions, because of the fact that US Frigid Glacier continues to con to connect onto at least two or three. Yeah. The counterattacks that you would expect Falcons AP Brent to do. Now TZ goes in with Spear of Alpha, might be able to burst down Edward Again? though. You Ed were just saying it. The, the Frigid Glacier. Glaciers. The this Glazer! Is time and time again, Ingon, they have been on point. Bottom lane again, Ren and Jay just taking a trip around, but that's the thing. This Aurora pick was so good for the lineup here that they wanted to work, and it's obviously it's been working great for the past six minutes. Falcons AP Bren will have to go ahead and adjust to it because eventually, you know, again, that was just a little bit of a lack of damage that they had where they couldn't cap out on the kill and UA was able to save them right there. So once again, you're kind of just playing catch up for now, both turtles, each one for the team, the third one coming up here. And we'll have to see this time around, how does Falcons AP Brent adjust to it? Flap has been able to jump in, but usually when he's able to jump in with the avatar of the Guardian, he's not able to get the targets he's looking for. And they still have to work through the passive as well from UA once he has it up. So they'll take their time here. For Marco. So there, Joe Bank still on the bottom side. They're going to break it out. Okay, Demon Kite gets a turtle AOG. Okay, not going to connect though. As Aurora trying to disengage Falcons AP Brent, they didn't have a trade. And all throughout, look at Doming just working on the bottom lane, forcing a reaction wow, onto Falcons AP Brent. Spear of Destruction won't connect oh, though. Land. Oh, the chase. Good Spear of Mystery coming in from Doming. Now Flap TZ charging his taunt. Oh. It's not going to connect though. They're trying to go for Doming, but Doming manages to escape. Very closely. Again, trying to use a spear, didn't land. Able to escape. But now the attention here from Falcons is gonna be on that tier one bottom side and there's nothing that Roro can really do. Demon Kite also still up there on that top side turret. He's been doing great, you know, on the x although we talked about how there could be some weak points and everything else, but just, again, the combination between him and UA really allowing things to fall into place at this point. We'll see if there's enough firepower coming out from Falcons AP Brand up to this point. We saw a little bit of glimpse of it. And the more that Super Marco also gets those items on this Harith, the more they should be able to fight. Even if they get frozen for a bit, again, the Zaman Force can help them play enough time. And a jump plus the healing plus the Eternal Guard knockup in the air might be able to buy enough time for FCAP to extend a fight in their favor. But right now, it's more so of just kind of getting a situated, getting buckled in for Aurora's control because they've been controlling the majority of this game. Yeah, especially the man in front for Aurora, Renegade, has been performing phenomenal with his aggression, aggressive circling eagles, guiding wins as well, the safe team of Aurora, and not to mention Demon Kite, always paired up the last insanity with his retribution to out the red tree. Uh, Kyle TZ, that's why he has two circles, Kyle TZ's one. So this time, let's see, a, a huge a, a huge thing that Kyle TZ needs to do is to burst down the Firaga armor to disable Demon Kite right away before the neutral objectives take place here. Not just even Kyle TZ, even the other men members of Falcons AP Bren as the First Lord will spawn. Just send it on Ren and Jay again. They go forward. They want to go for the makes. zone. Trying okay. to keep it together here. Guiding Wind on out. Just out of the danger, out of harm's reach. Lord's still going to be held there, so it is going to go for a reset. They got the Eternal Guard out, so that's not going to be available for you right now. So it's Rora keeping things together. Renegade also still doesn't have that Circling Eagle. So they got a way through this. Domain still working on that wave, pushing it through. Lord still on the reset. Right now, the Tier 1's mid lane for both teams still up too, so much even grounds to work with right now and neither team really committing waiting for those crucial ultimates back up renegades is up circling eagle again oh Phew. oh oh they change their target onto few they want to burst him down but a flicker is out there oh. now back is ap brand on the retreat they're going to bring down few you were in trouble though he did able oh. to
cast the Frigid Glacier, but Super Marco will fall down and has oh. a Dolman. Now the attack from Aurora is just too much for them to handle. Three Bs are down. Kyle's easy with Fear of Alpha just to walk away. And Aurora executed that to perfection, dividing and conquering the Titans to gain the advantage for the Clash and get the First Lord. What a good play and a great call for Renege and Demon Kite to switch it up. It focused down few, forcing the flicker and then still diving in with the last insanity. And again, it's UA. I know I've been saying this many times, but that Frigid Glacier is buying so much time for them to do something like that and then show back up to the fight and collapse down on the rest of Falcon's AP Bren. So right now they have this big objective secured. They've got a big lead against FCAP. Their work is gonna be cut out for them. They have to be able to maintain the line, the front line here and deal with just what Renegade is doing. He's been a lot of the start of uh, these initiations with a certain legal. Sometimes he's starting up, sometimes he's pulling back, but initially it gets something, whether it's a battle spell or the other. Out from Falcons. They're gonna keep together here, working to keep as much space on the map that they can work in, but right now the top just being focused down from Domang. Lorda waiting down to the bottom, slowly making its way. They're holding on to the Holy Shields the best they can, but Rora is looking solid as they approach the base here of Falcon's AP Bren. One last check at the items to see if they have enough firepower. Mid lane Holy Shield down. And slowly but surely that Lord making its way down to the bottom as FCAP Eyes off for a year. They're gonna go oh. in. Oh, Kyle Seezy goes in with the Prince of Glacier from you. Might be able to bring down Kyle Seezy. The Winter Crown play is there. Will they be able to save him though? They're gonna oh. burst him down in the hands of Demon Kite. The Lord is still there onto the bottom as they work on it. They want to bring down an inhibitor. The Lord's still up as Falcon's AP Bren works on it. Now, Kyle Seezy. That was a huge effort. Oh, they still have minions, Naisu. They can. They're gonna push in, trying to sustain through this. Gotta clear the waves. That top turret gonna be the next target from Rora and FCAP in a very dangerous position. Wave's gonna be cleared up, Eternal Guard dropped in, but they hold on for now to the top and mid turret. As Kyle TZ will be back up, that's all Rora's gonna get this time. But man, oh man, talk about a lead, talk about unanswered initiations and unanswered startups from Rora here. As Falcons AP Brand still scrambling to get what they need, looking at the items really behind, nearly in every aspect, every lane. And Super Marco, he did have the Holy Crystal now, he's got the starting of the Scythe, Feather of Heaven, should have enough firepower, but again, it's all about the spacing that they have to work with. It's so hard for FCAP to set up the way they want to because of what Renegade's doing half the time. Yeah, and of, or, of course, also you. Uh, Again, the Crucial Frigid Glacier. Most of the time, it's not for the offensive, it's for the defensive, for to, to for him to enable his squad mates to go and re-engage as they work on the second Lord. 7.3k gold lead for Aurora. And here we go, they find themselves once again in this situation. Falcons AP Bren, could Kyle TZ pull it off again like he did in the previous game? They're gonna zone him out as much as they can, that mid lane being pushed in top as well for the minions. Edward goes in with the Earth Shatter Flicker combination, AOG to add to right back, but Kyle Teezy is going to fall down, Domain working on bringing down Flap, two members are gone, Demon Kai also gets the Lord, Flickers are out from back, it's AD, Brent Fear of Destruction coming in from Domain, going to do the free hit though, they have minions, they also have the Lord, now Falcons AP Bren, oh they need to defend this Naisu. They're gonna keep it together. They got the Lord, now they go mid! UA goes in with a beautiful stun! Oh, and oh. the bees soar too high to the light as Aurora burns them down to ashes! The light within shines brighter than ever as Aurora seizes the win! A super team dethrones the Titans. And with that, a grand final spot and a chance to go represent the Philippines.